with yeah. them and, and obviously, you know, the release. Were you shocked by, by the release at that point when you did get released? Because it seemed to me to be a, a bit shocking. Um, I wasn't, you know, I, I sit back and I go like, I really wasn't and I, nothing really shocks me anymore as far as when, cause this business is crazy, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. we're all crazy in it. That's the, re- <laughs> like we're, this business is crazy and we might all be crazy in it. No, it wasn't shocking. I think that I feel that we had all, I felt like I had just kind of come to the conclusion that they weren't like, they weren't going to give me the out that I really hoped for, for whatever reason. And that was okay. It's just unfortunate because I just had a different vision of it, but that's right. just, that's just it, and that and that's okay. You know what I mean? I'm not like bitter about it. It's just like, meh, that sucks. You know? Yep. I know you talked about it a, a million times too, like the trash bag thing. I mean, that was just so crazy to me because, like, is that really how they do it? And apparently, a few of the uh, other people have been released. Like, oh yeah, that, that's how they do it. It's like, wait, that's how they send back. Yeah, talents, like personal boy to me i was like shocked to me i know nothing shocks you in wrestling but it's like what the hell what yeah well and i th- i didn't even you know i think that we get so used to craziness or whatever i had i had almost forgot how offensive that was you know what i mean right, in right. a real space but then you look at some people and they go like i don't see what the big deal is like it's just trash bag and i'm like okay but we're talking like thousands of dollars of gear in this trash bag and i understand this is me going like i understand the reason of let's i don't want this box to get left out on the porch and get in a pouring down rainstorm and then all this stuff to get damaged because it's not in a plastic bag but there's also ziplocs and all that stuff and most of my stuff because i have ocd is all in ziplocs with the exception of like belts and boots and jackets but all my gear were in their separate little ziplocs and stuff um but I, that's how, I think that's been like a thing of how they've done it for so long that it was just a thoughtless, it was just tone deaf. And I think that I kind of posted it and I had, you know, not just reservations about posting it because I like, I feel like this is going to come off as bitter and ugly and I'm not trying to be that way. But at the same time, I'm like, this is exactly like the thoughtlessness that I'm talking about. Like this is like represents it in a freaking nutshell, you know, in this one thing. And what I thought was powerful because I go like, I have I have zero doubt in my mind that Vince has z- no idea that that's yeah. how they send the talent their stuff. He doesn't know that. Why would he know that? You know, like yep. so. But it's frustrating when you feel like you're blocked from conversations for him to have a direct conversation to say some things or to say it because there's this channel of like power of like whatever that you have to get through it in order to have that conversation to then go. This is this sucks. Like this is not cool. You know, and because also because I look at myself from, you know, talent and this obviously doesn't happen to the men as much because the men don't have drawers with their gear because, you know, girls, we have to have changes of outfits, whether it's like TV gear, wrestling gear, all these things. And unless they have like huge jackets or like those big pieces, which usually kind of stay in like a road case, you know, kind of thing, then they don't they don't get their stuff like that. And I got my stuff like that 10 years ago. Obviously there's been a a laundry list of girls have all gotten their stuff. If you had a drawer, you probably got your stuff like that. Um, I didn't even, wasn't like that personally offended by it. It was more of like, Oh, this pretty much sums it up. Like in a nutshell, like in a sarcastic Mickey James, sarcastic sort of way. Um, And it was the people who got like, floored by it and you just I mean I think because we're I've been in the business so long is that you just forget like you're so we're so desensitized to you know craziness so to me it wasn't like oh, how dare they send me my shit in a trash bag it was just more like yep this about sums it up for the you know like what you know it's funny it's well yeah. I don't but I'm like and that's why I was like I honestly I kept away from doing media at first when it first happened because it went on, like it took off. And I was like, this is the one, everybody wants to talk about this freaking trash bag thing. And I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to be the bag lady. That's not what I want my career to be <laughs> about this freaking trash bag. Like, I'm glad that no, I'm glad that they took action and recognized that it's not a cool thing to do to talent as you're asking them to leave because me. And I think about this, we talk about mental health. We talk about all these other things, Mickey James, in 2010 when i got my stuff in a trash bag was devastated like and this is before social media before all those things i was already in a bad place i was heartbroken my dream was taken away it was all these things and you go like they think i'm trash so i think now 
you know, as we have like a lot of girls who are sometimes younger on the talent list or whatever, and they're, they're perhaps not mentally strong enough to understand like, this is just thoughtless behavior. It's not how the company truly, I don't think that they truly think I'm trash. You know what I mean? It was just a, we got to get this stuff out, you know, and put the names on the right bag. So they go to the right people. That's literally what it is, you know? So, <clears throat> but the fact that there wasn't even like any going like, Oh, this might not look optics wise good, you know, because yep. there is the power of social media now, you know? And I just, yeah. So I'm happy that no other girl or guy will ever have to deal with that if that was going to hurt their feelings or affect them in some way, because it did affect me then. Like it did put some like salt in an open wound. But this time I was just like, uh, I'm a different person now, you know, like that is the, that is the true art of growth. It was just, you know, yeah. I was like, oh, whoa, I did not expect that. I did yeah. not. I, yeah. Triple but, H apology, Stephanie apology, Carano fired, Vince apology. I mean, no, got, I it got out there. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.